Hello, and welcome to the International Society of Hospitality Consultants Member Spotlight. I'm Jennifer Castellarine, and I'm here today with ISHC member Joe Strain, uh, Managing Director of Hotel Broker One, um, who's been a member of ISHC for nine years. How's it going, Joe? It's going well. How about you? It's it's going well. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about Hotel Broker One? Uh, we're a hotel brokerage firm specialized in hotels. We also do a fair amount of consulting with our hotel clients. Uh, we do 30 to 35 transactions a year, been in business 35 years, based uh, in Oklahoma City and here in Dallas. So we have two offices currently. Um, there's five of, us, five of us, and we do business in 23 and licensed in 23 states. Wow. So we are regional in some respects, and we are national. We've done half a dozen transactions in Manhattan, San Diego, Seattle. Uh, we have listings in probably 10 states right now. How uh, did you I, get into this? Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, uh, I was going to say, uh, well, I know, I think here's a question that addresses what I was going to say. So to, to answer <laughs> the question about what, how I got into it, I started as an MAI appraiser, um, <clears throat> and I was PKF's first MAI appraiser and PKF is out of business now, but they were a hotel consulting or their hotel. They were a accounting firm, first of all, and then they had a, a real estate practice, including market studies. And then I added the appraisal component to that. This was in Seattle back a few years back, <laughs> but that led me to doing some consulting on a transaction called the Boulders Resort Hotel in Phoenix area and or Scottsdale area. And, um, and that was kind of fun. I kind of like that. <laughs> so I, this led to that. And I became a broker. And then um, the RTC days hit. This is going back a ways. And I got hired to be an asset manager. So I had 30 hotels and in those dollars, then 300 million of assets to manage. Wow. And then sell. So I, I made myself get through the asset management part of it in order to get to the sales part of it and that was fun and that ended up landing me in Dallas I was in Seattle then that brought me to Dallas because I'd sold a hotel to a company that was wanting to do more of that business yep and then the, and then I was here for six years doing uh, obtaining management contracts and brokerage got went back to Seattle for asset management and then or to buy, we ended up buying, we formed an opportunity fund and bought 200 million in hotels. And um, some of those they still own. Yeah. And then the recession come, they don't need to have a buyer when there's a recession. So I came back to Dallas and I've been doing brokerage ever since. And some consulting, I did a six month brokerage or a consulting stint with the Choctaw Nation. So I was a chief investment officer. I was a chief working for an Indian tribe. Now, people hmm. think that's kind of funny, you know? Yeah, it so, sounds like you've had a fun career. <laughs> well, tell us about a project um, that you've got going on currently or in the recent history that you're excited about, that you're proud of. Um, this will be a little different because it's actually a person. Okay. It, it's a person who called me one day and we talked and he was so impressive. He had managed hotels as a, uh, he'd managed um, uh, Marriott hotels, JW Marriott hotels in three different countries. Um, he was a, just a fantastically smart guy. He had great uh, interaction capabilities and qualities. So we met and I agreed to help him buy his first hotel he wanted to leave management and become build a portfolio so we kind of so we bought our first hotel he's done fantastic he's doubled his net income and now we're we're trying to get this contract done today or yes tonight on a second one so we've awesome. done going according to plan but it excites me <clears throat> because i know that we can you know create a lot of wealth there mm -hmm. and it's it's more obviously it's for it's his wealth, but it's it. I do like and enjoy finding them, picking them, and then seeing them make money for their owners. I, I was able to do that at the hotel group, and it's happening here too. So it's fun for me. Yeah. 
as a as a hospitality consultant, you've obviously seen a lot of properties all over the world. What would you consider to be one of your favorite properties or your favorite destinations? Well, favorite property is the Arizona Biltmore. Um, you know, we used to have our some of the meetings there, some of the uh, industry meetings there. That's been changed, yep. but <clears throat> um, it's a different place. I've always kidded that come back someday and I'll be the guy in his terry cloth robe out by one of the casinos <laughs> sitting on the patio. That'll be me because <laughs> I just it just feels right to me. I I don't relate to other properties. There are beautiful resorts all over the place. You can't. Yep. You can't see them all. They're, and they're fantastic. But they don't talk back to me. They don't talk to me. They don't, it doesn't feel the same to me. And this is yeah. a, a combination of architecture and history and just kind of its, you know, its soul, I guess you would say, um, really works for me. Um, you know, but if I could put it in the Caribbean, I would probably <laughs> put it out just a little bit. Uh, just to have that blue ocean right there, that'd be pretty. Yeah. Good. Anna, know? let's switch to a, a personal note. You know, where the, one of the point of these member spotlight videos is to get the membership to know each other a little bit better. Right. Um, and this is always kind of the the elephant in the room question, but tell us something kind of unusual, unknown, different about yourself. We'd love to hear it. So true admission time at this point. <laughs> this is part of the therapy that speaks to the truth. Um, well, you know, I mentioned the consulting part, the transaction part, and building something for someone part. Yep. This is the nerd part. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> since I can remember, I've always wanted the music that I listen to to sound better. And most of the time, it wasn't very good sounding to me. I loved the song and the music, but I didn't like the way it sounded to me. Yep. So, um, as time went on, I started developing an interest in in stereo playback equipment. So amplifiers, tuners, pre-amplifiers, speakers, digital or uh, analog components to go with them. Yep. And over the years, you know, it's all changed and you have to keep up. So, but I found myself um, into that. And to the point where if I change a power cord, I can hear the difference. Oh, wow. In, in or to the point where even on like some of the Beatles recordings, you can hear the two, the different production years of the same music. Now it sounds different because the song is slightly altered, but it also sounds different because the recording venue is different. Recording equipment yeah. is different. The microphone placements are different. And so I can hear that for some reason, it floats my boat. It's just, so <laughs> is that nerdy enough? Is that unique enough? Yeah, I mean, that does it for me. How many other members have asked you that? <laughs> <Very awesome. laughs> uh zero to date if um, i give an, if i have a part b to that it's been sports sports cars sports cards uh, yeah. cars or cards cars oh cars Auto okay automobiles type gotcha yeah and so um a satisfaction that i just filled last week again so i'm excited about that too uh oh what did you buy a 911 oh. porsche a oh. Cabriolet, a it's a Carrera S Cabriolet. So um, I I've got maybe sixty miles. I haven't been able to get to it yet, but it's really fun. It's really fun. <laughs> exactly. Well, this has been fun, yeah. um, and I hope I hope our audience has had fun getting to know you a little bit better. Um, I know that I have, um, and we look forward to doing to doing more of these member spotlights. So if you're yeah. if you're interested, send me an email and let me know. I think it's an excellent idea. Thank you for making it happen. Yeah, and thank you so much for being my first volunteer. <laughs> my pleasure. All right, thank you. All right. Thank you.